Kamishibai no Hajimari, Hajimari. Let's begin Kamishibai. The Three Magic Charms, a Japanese folktale. Mukashi Mukashi. A long time ago, in a mountain temple, lived a priest and his young apprentice. One day the boy was looking for chestnuts deep in the mountain when an old woman stepped out suddenly from behind some trees. Come here! We're related, you know! I'm your father's sister's husband's aunt's sister! That sounds complicated. I don't understand. Maybe it's complicated and maybe it's not, but it still makes us related. Now listen, I'm going to boil a big pot of chestnuts tonight. Why don't you come over to my house? Saying this, the old woman grinned and then disappeared into the woods again. The young apprentice ran back to the temple and told the priest what had happened. The priest shook his head suspiciously. You should know, my child, that what she said is not true. She is really a Yamanba, a terrible mountain woman. You'd better not go or she'll eat you up. But I love chestnuts. If she's really a Yamanba, I'll run away. Please let me go, please. If you want to go so badly, then go. But just in case, I'll give you these magic paper charms. If she tries to hurt you, use them to help you get away. The priest handed him three slips of paper. Then the boy set off happily for the old woman's house, carrying the magic paper charms. Well, well, my boy, so you came. Good, very good. The chestnuts are cooked, so eat up. The boy sat down by the pot and ate and ate until his stomach was ready to burst. And soon he became very sleepy and started to doze off. Oh, are you tired? Why don't you lie down and rest? She took him into the next room and put him to bed. In the middle of the night, the boy woke up suddenly. It had begun to rain, and the tapping of the raindrops on the roof sounded as if it were warning him. Ten, ten, ten. Danger is near. Ten, ten, ten. Yamamba is here. The frightened boy got up quietly and peeked into the next room. There sat the old woman next to the fire, turning a spinning wheel round and round and saying to herself, Little boy, did you sleep? <laughs> Little boy, did you sleep? <laughs> her eyes glistened, her hair was in tangles and her huge mouth split her face from ear to ear. While the boy had been sleeping, the old woman had turned into a fearful looking Yamanba. The boy became frightened, but when he tried to sneak away, he heard the dreadful voice of the Yamanba call out to him. Hey boy, where are you going? I have to go to, uh, to the bathroom. The Yamanba stood up immediately and walked over to him. She tied a rope around his waist. Well, if you have to go, then go, but I'm not going to let you get away. Saying this, the Yamanba pushed the apprentice out the door. The boy walked over to the outhouse, dragging the rope behind him. And when he got there, he removed the rope from his waist and tied it to one of the posts. 
Then he took one of the magic paper charms that the priest had given him and stuck it to the post. Magic paper charm, protect me from the Imamba. After saying this, the boy ran away as fast as he could. Are you finished, boy? Irritated, the Yamanba tugged on the rope. Not yet, answered the paper charm. Once again, the Yamanba yelled out, Are you finished, boy? Not yet. Are you finished, boy? Not yet. What are you doing, boy? What's taking you so long? Come back here right this instant. This time, the Yamanba pulled on the rope with all her might. Suddenly, the post came flying out of the ground and fell right on top of the Yamanba. All the while, the magic paper charm kept muttering, Not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh! That hurt! So the boy got away, did he? The Yamanba jumped up and ran off after the apprentice. Stop, boy, stop! The young apprentice fled for his life, but the Yamanba ran like the wind and caught up with him in no time. Stop, boy, stop! When the Amanba reached out to grab him, the boy took out another magic paper charm and threw it behind him. Turn into a river! He heard a thunderous roar, and suddenly, with a roar, the waters of the great river appeared. This, oh, oh, this water is not going to stop me! The Amanba threw herself into the water and paddled frantically after the apprentice. The boy ran for his life. Stop, boy! Stop, I say! The apprentice threw the last paper magic charm behind him. <sighs> Turned into a mountain of sand! Boom! Suddenly a large mound of sand rose up behind him. The man gnashed her teeth. A measly sand dune can't stop me! She started to climb the mound, but when she took one step up, the sand caved in and she slipped one step down. But <coughs> a few grams of sea, sand can't stop me. No, sir. They're not going to stop me. <coughs> she pulled herself up, and when she got over the top, she made her way closer and closer to the boy. The young apprentice finally reached the temple and threw himself against the lock gate. He beat on it frantically. Help! Help! The imam is going to get me. Open the gate. Oh, oh. Yamanba, he says, just as I thought. Help! She's almost here! Just a minute. Let me get on my underwear. Please hurry! Hold on. I've got to put on my kimono. Hurry, please, hurry! The old priest finally opened the door, the gate, and hid his apprentice in a cabinet. Just in the nick of time. The Amanda came dashing into the temple and ran up to the priest. Hey, old man! The boy came in here, didn't he? Bring him to me! My apprentice? No, no, he's not here. That's not true! I'm sure I saw him run into the temple! Now, now, just calm yourself. What's the rush? Why don't you sit down and have some rice cakes? Mm. Rice cakes, you say? The Amanda suddenly began to feel very hungry. She sat down right in front of the fireplace and began helping herself to the rice cakes. Say, old woman, I've heard people say that Yamanbas can turn themselves into anything they like. Is that really true? Of course we can! Do you want me to show you? The Amanda tapped on the wooden frame of the fireplace and began chanting. Grow bigger and bigger and bigger! Hoo! As soon as she finished this chant, whoosh! The Amanda turned into a giant monster. Oh, amazing! I can't believe my eyes! You're really good at this! But... But what? I'll bet you can't turn yourself into something small. Did you say something small? I can turn myself into anything you say! Really? 
but not a bean, I'll bet. A bean, you say? Just watch me! Shake smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh! Suddenly, the Amanda became very small and turned into a bean. Amazing! You did it! Wonderful! Just wonderful! Then the priest picked up the bean, popped it into his mouth, and ate it up. It was delicious. The end. Oshimai.